Hey guys, I'm Ravana Yovana. Please comment below to let us know that you are in the challenge, the Ravana Vegan Challenge 2016, and give this video a thumbs up too. And if you wanna participate in the challenge, you can do so by signing up on my website, ravana.com, and I'll leave all of the information in the description of this video. So today I wanna to share with you my story of the detox that changed my life. This month, three years ago, I completely changed my lifestyle from one day to the next, as you have seen in other videos. But today I just wanted to share with you what exactly made me change. It was December 2012 when I decided that one of my New Year's resolutions was going to stop drinking alcohol for just three months. So I stopped drinking alcohol for about a month along with coffee and smoking cigarettes and I started feeling the symptoms, the detox symptoms. So I started feeling a little bit depressed. I didn't go into depression but just feeling kind of low and kind of questions of what's my purpose, I didn't really have passion for what I was doing, just everything, you know, for myself, who am I, those questions that we sometimes ask ourselves. So my dad was like, go to this place in San Diego, and you're, you'll be detoxing, you'll be drinking green juices, and learning about the connection of mind, body, and spirit. And this was just like another language, like mind, body, and spirit, what is that? And so I went to this place, and for the very first time, I was exposed to eating raw fruits and vegetables. You guys, I cannot explain what I was feeling. It was just, first of all, energy, but second of all, like the anxiety just left. Like I was, I was feeling good and I wasn't even doing anything. I was just resting and it was like kind of like a joy from within that I couldn't really explain. And so I ended up staying there for two weeks and I learned about mental detox, emotional detox. I was doing colonics massages and just learning about how much our food can affect not only our physical health but our emotional health and our mental health and even our spiritual health and just the importance of meditating being in a quiet environment all of the spiritual thing that i had no idea about so i left that place with my vitamix my juicer my dehydrator all my books and i was so motivated to do this i went back to mexico city where I was living at the time, I was just happy eating all my fruits and vegetables. But then I asked myself, I was like, who else is doing this? It's like, am I the only person eating this way? So I went online and I found so many people eating this way and I found videos on YouTube and I got even more inspired and more motivated to keep on going. I said, oh my gosh, I'm, I just, I, I don't want to stop, you know? That's when I saw that there wasn't a lot of information in Spanish on the raw food diet. And that's when I decided to open my blog, start posting my pictures on Instagram. And you can see on my Instagram feed that I have the pictures from the past. So it's kind of cool to go back and see that as well. Then I started doing my YouTube videos first in Spanish, but then I said, hey, I'm like fluent in English too. So why not do the videos in English as well? It was amazing to just connect with these people and start getting messages of, wow, like so inspired to drink smoothies or I've lost weight. The changes that I felt after the two weeks of just eating raw foods was so profound that I said, I need to share this with the world. I need to tell people about this truth. I thought I had like found just like the answer to everything, you know, to every problem. And that's why I do these challenges because I know that you can experience these profound changes and kind of like an enlightenment, an awakening. That's essentially what I had because it's not really about the food. It's so much more than that. Anyone who's been in this lifestyle knows that, that at the end, food is just second nature, but raw fruits and vegetables is what permits our true inner self to really shine even better. It's just like really being honest with myself, admitting when I'm wrong and forgiving myself and loving myself and knowing that I am a loving essence. That is my true self and that's everyone's true self and that's in us. So that's a whole nother topic, but I, right now I'm currently in school for spiritual psychology and I've been learning so many things, you guys. I can't wait to share it with you all. 
I just wanted to share this little part of my life with you. I hope that it can help you and inspire you to maybe start eating more red fruits and vegetables. And remember that if you fall off the wagon, it's okay. Just get up and go again. At the end, it's such a personal decision that our time for each one of us comes eventually. And it won't even matter to you to leave all that food or whatever you did in the past. You'll be happy for it. You'll be ready for it. I love you guys so much. I send you all lots of love and light. Don't forget to subscribe here to my channel if you haven't subscribed. <laughs> and also follow me on all my social media. And thank you guys so much for the support and all the love. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.